today we are going to hi guys today we are going to discuss about the product catalog uh, attribute adjustment dynamic pricing procedure so these three topics we are going to discuss about in order to continue with the product so here in terms of catalog makes the correct order whenever order is placing they want to make the certain products as one category under the category they want to meet the segregate like you know broadband as a one cat catalog and voice is a one catalog wireless service is a one catalog in that category categories they want to structure hierarchical based structure as per the business model some of the project they have different kind of structure they will follow direct they have a direct product configuration product packages they will configure and with that they can go for the purchasing some of the hierarchy they may want to go for the catalog category product bundling configuration as you can see the diagram here we can see catalog and categories which can will be let's um, let's go to the one we have an airtel website so here we can see the some of them has broadband one catalog how this they have maintaining the categories if you go to dth one is one catalog let's say example on this you can see in this at at a website has mentioned one catalog product catalog you can go to postpaid is one catalog how websites are designing the the easy to customer view point of view how he can go the one particular one catalog he can go and he can place the order like you can see this by the plan in the similar way in such a manner in cbl also we have uh, in that we are making the purchasing the customer to catalog configuration that is the reason some of the projects they go in for the very big organization they want to segregate the catalog the concept which is post pay dd has this is the service as how it is designed that so in similar way in product configuration cbl point of view also we have administration go to the administration portal and here we can see the product catalog in order to configure you can see for example you want to make one postpaid wise all the postpaid services as a one catalog you can go here you can create one postpaid wise catalog let's save it you can go here one categories go here product chase and add you what are you configure that postpaid package as i said earlier my postpaid bundle as one bundle configuration so if i do like this configuration just again now one get one postpaid card device i created similar way you can see the wireless wireless lines are one category categories you can see categories and that here you can go to the products this is D, D, dsl kind of services you can see the long list like this you go. how they want to structure once this is configuration it is a simple once you configure the catalog and catalog bundle and you can do here with the such a way now suppose you want to go to the order to purchase here now over here order generally we saw that product bundling cases customer is going to the order line items level he purchasing the pack creating new package and adding but in terms of catalog uh, category basis they want to go for the catalog here they have displaying the all the category catalogs what are the we created for example if you see what we created the catalog it will come here automatically once you created here so here we can see wireless catalog 
and we created one more postpaid catalog right that also will come here you can see here we can go here catalog select the catalog and you can add your services by selecting the here add button will be there so you can add here that will get added in, in your line terms but it is a sample your add button get not enabled but in real time cases you will get added here and you add the product then automatically it will come to your line terms level service will get added here basically that's example if you see here one of the order the wireless category I choose here wireless category add the category then automatically line terms level those TV wireless products are getting added here. In such a way, customer can purchase the catalogs by using the segregation by using the catalog and category concept. So, next topic we are going to discuss about the attribute adjustments. Where is the important topic attribute adjustment? Attributes adjustments are, you know, there are uh, times of pricing, they want to do volume discounts are there. Attributes adjustment is powerful where we want to pass the based on the selection of the like a colors or you want to make the high the channel which you want to make uh, in terms of if you want to pass the adjustment based on the high red plan configuration. Suppose you want for the customer has high red plan he purchase, he want to give some kind of attributes high level uh, based on the colors collection. The devices in terms of you can say high red plan will be selected then you want to pass some uh, discounts to the customer then he, this adjustment matrix will applicable for you want to there are two type of adjustment matrix we can do one is multi dimension dimension and we can do uh, single dimension so multi dimension which you want to do like you know based on some channel also you want to specify the uh, we want to pass the ad, uh, adjustment for these customers where they want to like you know device purchase high red plans and this case is channel based also we can do adjustment for the uh, the attribute based so basically how we are doing the adjustment you have to go for the adjustment matrix uh, adjustment you have to create a name and here name when you, uh, when you selecting here the multi dimension you have to give here and conditionally we want to make one set of rules brand uh, bandwidth and then you can type your uh, value, band value, one MBBS, and the price already has to pass like this. So in such a way, we can configure the attribute adjustment matrix. And discount matrix, which is uh, in terms of uh, high customers who are the volume kind of uh, purchasing very high level uh, plans, those you want to see some discounts, then discount matrix are configured. It depends on the how companies or organization structure is there. Some of them are B2B business volume discounts. You want to uh, give some high level reselling prices, you can use a discount matrix. How this and all is working based on the very important concept has dynamic pricing procedure workflows. Here, basically, when you are uh, calling the normal pricing, that is dynamic basic pricing will, will get, get called like a list price and volume, whatever you configure. But whereas if you configure the attribute adjustment, then there is a very important dynamic pricing closure workflow will get called here you can see here this can, this workflow has indicated that calculate the monthly recurring on round recurring charges of of the how when you do the customization then as i said in previous videos i mentioned that signal mechanism will come to the picture when signal is there automatically this dynamic closure workflow will get called here this the on customization product Volume discount, even attribute adjustment, aggregate discount, this dynamic pricing closure workflow only will get invoked and it will call the what are the you define. Even if you want to make the channel based also, we you can do here dynamic closure workflow only it invoke. This and all when you do the customer is in contract is launching automatically this workflow will get called and uh, what are you configure this here attribute adjustment. That will get invoked and it will append in the order line terms. You can see here on workflow how it is getting it, it get uh, process transformation where you want to see here 
the steps are dynamic lookup transformation where uh, attribute adjustment interval of flow here there is a sub process discount non services product and where is this discount services product this also the flow will get called and you can see the where when he has to set it roll up error can customizes roll up will perform and if you want to set that that automatically set the but value pricing whatever you configure that will get added in the line terms level update in the net price level whatever you, have, you added let's see here few more example whereas uh, which important product with the attributes as i said you can see here e converter button signal flow where we have mentioned that uh, here signal raising here swt invoke method is sync instances which instances will single single raise signal instances single dispersible mode is you can uh, here we are sync sync instances and then when mode is the code this is the way of how this signal work, flow process e converter save button and and here when you do things a button cancel logs you can find the instances where it is calling the pricing workflow so you can observe here swt invoke method is done config and it will call the signals and mode is this one and raise signal will get invoked and whereas workflows are like this it will get called and it will be automatically whatever you in that signal level workflows are defined those will get invoked and price will get updated as few more thing we can see observe here dynamic product configuration if you want to configure the dynamic in the terms of here we can configure the here one more point i want to add here civil scripting and linked items civil scripting also we can write whereas linked items also we can configure suppose let's example that you have an order as i mentioned that you in order level field you want to base you want to get it in the linked product level then you can use the by using the linked items you, go, you can see the diagram whereas bc name field and bo have to mention the name you can get it with this name we can write your either you can use this as a linked item as a product constant you can use it as well as you can write your sample code also like this you can get the fields by using the uh, uh, scripting we can use you can write the scripting as well as linked items get the field value in the whatever whereas order level in field we can get it e converter level to configure the pick up plate in the e configurator we can configure in terms of by following these steps first you have to go to the first you have to define the your pick up plate normal configuration you have to do the pick up plate and then here you have to come to the go to the administration product configuration there you have to go to the self the attribute name and you have to mention this property as pick up plate and pick list and pick map the pick map where where you have to give the pick map field attribute name pick bc of the business component and pick map of two so when how you define like this for example you can see here how we are uh, defining here pick up plate pick list and pick map then on yield configurator also we can map the we can if you go to the customer you want to the uh, selection of the pick up plate then whatever you normal configuration of plate will get open here agent can select the certain products here in the okay click what okay button so this is the way of you can configure the pick list inside the e product e converter also by following these steps i will add this link in the my youtube video link you can get go through this link and you can get the information